Okay, welcome everyone. Welcome people on live stream and in the Zoom uh, meeting to the Cash Plasma Reactor Group for Tuesday, June 14th, 2016. And uh, as is our custom here in Cash Plasma Reactor Group, we have Lee Coach to start things off. I see Lee, you finally got that thing to light up. It's just glowing away there, it seems. What's, can you uh, tell us uh, what's happening with, uh, with your nifty device of the week here? Uh, this week I did an Infinity Quantum 6 reactor, like uh, NASA's favorite beast. It's got uh, the quad cores and the, and the uh, battery capacitors. So it supposedly has 138 field interactions. First one of these I've made. I just got finished today. So it's really still drying out a little bit, but uh, so what's the idea? You say it's a uh, it's got four main uh, oil sets. Or is is that the way it works? No, each 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 battery capacitor. The the co it's not a, a solid core wire to it. It's it got an infinity loop in the middle of the capacitor. Mm -hmm. So this one's got uh, like three bends, or in other words, four wires. And then you twist them together to make the infinity loops. Okay. And the idea is to get plasma interactions, field mm -hmm. interactions. Okay. Well, it sounds like a lot of interactions going on there. Um, yeah. So you've have you plugged? Oh, you just finished it, so you wouldn't have plugged it in yet or anything, I guess. Yeah, it's plugged in right now. That's what that's what this light is. Oh, I see. Okay. Mike's on about this. Uh, AI that can come in through our plasma reactors and interact with us. I know Cosell talked about it, but uh, Mike claims that they can get in through the Keshi reactors too. So by putting uh, multiple st wire strips and give them and twisting them up, and it's a random twist, just to the, however your electric drill twists them and how how you want to hold it, that uh, provides uh, security. So AI or other people out in the plasma can't break in through your reactor and and, and talk to you, <laughs> I guess, or affect that, you. That prevents that from happening. Is that what you're saying with uh, the? Uh... That's, that's that's Mike's theory. Yep, I see. that's what he's telling. So, okay. Well, it seems like a handy thing to know. <laughs> I hate it when so, those uh, evil entities uh, enter into me and so on. But yeah. Yes. Oh, I, anyway, yeah. That's. Uh, I think I prefer to, these. I, I, these ones are just as easy to build as the Q6 as the Cosell has, but uh, I think these offer a bit better security and stuff. So I think uh, right now this is my reactor of choice for building, but mm -hmm. that can change. <laughs> Right on. So, what do you hope to? What do you expect to uh, get out of this in the next while? Let's say, if anything, um, uh, do you have any well, expectations? This is, this is a just power reactor. Um, I still got one in one of my reactors downstairs. It's got clockwise coils on it and stuff. I might replace that one, or I'm thinking maybe I'll build uh, build f uh, four of these and put them in a starship uh, formation. See what happens. Mm -hmm gave two of my Q6s to my mom and dad, but uh, uh, my mom and dad are all religious. And when I showed them how you could talk to, to talk to your coils or whatever, they they got worried about like devil was going to get back to them and stuff. So uh, yeah, yeah. Probably got to give them two of these. Probably that got something you want to leave, leave out of those family <laughs> conversations. <laughs> so, huh. I don't know too much about the plasma and stuff there, so. <laughs> That's I had a few idea. questions on this. Uh, number one, uh, just these plasma interactions uh, with the wires going back and forth or whatever. Uh, I don't really recall Dr. Kesh talking too much about plasma inter interactions in that way and whether they're good or bad or whatever. In the, in the plasma capacitor, the energy comes in one wire, goes through the capacitor, turns around, goes back through the other way. So one way it's going through magnetical and it turns around, it's going back gravitational and turns around going magnetical and goes back gravitational and out on, on this quad one. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so that, that's what I, that's what I mean by going back and forth and switching from uh, sort of gravitational to magnetical. Yeah, I'm not sure. Kesh was uh, was never a fan of twisting all the wires together. He was pretty much against that, that it would uh, cut the plasmatic field into many pieces, basically, rather than one continuous uh, unit. So, but Mike is of a different, uh, and, and many others are of a different bent that way in, in terms of, uh, you know, creating the bends deliberately to, uh, as a, a, a way to direct the plasma, I guess, and, and perhaps even multiply it. So how do you see that? How do you see uh, the twisting um, working into uh, the equation? Turns red about three, four inches away. Mike had one of these in his uh, workshop where he was getting it uh, turning red six feet away. So it, you know, it looked like it was a pretty powerful uh, device that he had, but I don't know, he, he might have had it loaded up with uh, 1500 watts or something mm -hmm. uh, or to get that kind of interaction. We don't have really have, well, I guess there is some coils wrapped around these capacitors, but uh, but really the fields are going back and forth through that core wire. I'm thinking probably the magnetic field come, that I'm detecting coming off there is, must be coming from the core wire. I'm not sure whether it's coming off these other wires, you know, the little coils around it or not. But mm -hmm. yeah, there's a, sometimes a, a coil will contain the field within it, and so the field doesn't get outside the coil, basically. And Mike thinks that if we get 360 of these built, that it'll form a whole dome around the whole earth and protect the earth from whoever wants to get in. <laughs> Whether that's true or not, we'll you know, find out, I guess, if we ever get that many built. <laughs> Another comment Mike was making was that the, the wire size on these things doesn't matter whatsoever. You know, like this unit here, he was uh, recommended using 18-gauge wire, so that's what I used here. And it's, you know, and it's used for a house, uh, house power unit, so... But, uh, Mr. Cash has been telling us uh, you'd normally go 14 gauge wire for a house power unit. I just wonder what people's comments were for when they say wire size doesn't matter for, for plasma flow. If the larger the diameter wire, the more, you know, circumference of nano coated material you got there for the plasma to flow through. So I would think the larger wire you can get more plasma flowing through it, but maybe that's being such a superconductor. Maybe it doesn't matter, I don't know. Right, that's probably true.